from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventures. From the mountains of the great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week, we're in New Zealand. You know, a bucket list is something that many people talk about, and, and we've all got them. And it may be a, a trip, it may be an accomplishment, it may be an award for some people. And I've got a bucket list of both fishing, hunting, and personal things that I, I want to accomplish. And one of them has always been to visit New Zealand and go on a red stag hunt. When I had the invitation from Thompson Center to be able to attend this uh, hunt, I think it took me all of about 2.2 seconds to say yes. When we heard about this trip, um, I said, this is gonna be a chance of a lifetime. And I started looking at flights. I was starting to kind of cringe because there is absolutely no easy way to, to get to New Zealand. It was like 30 plus hours of travel with layovers and flights and everything. But once you did get to Queenstown, it was just great. Queenstown was a really cool city, very clean. You go down on the on a little kind of a bay there. It's got a waterfront village with uh, lots of tourist uh, destination type shops, some great restaurants, a little beach area that's kind of a public gathering place for lack of a better word. And you begin to, even though you've got jet lag, immerse yourself in the, uh, in the New Zealand lifestyle right away. It's a great little place. Um, lots of just uh, street artists and music, and it just seems like one of those towns that anything kind of goes places. Uh, but we had a great dinner, relaxed, everybody kind of hung out, got to know each other a little bit, and got up in the morning, got in a van, and just started traveling to camp. On the way to camp, we stopped at a little town called Arrowtown and did a little shopping and um, got to see a little bit of the local culture and things like that. And made a couple other pit stops along the way as well, but just to be able to um, take in that scenery on the way. There are so many shades of green here, it's just amazing. This place is remarkably beautiful. I mean, it's hard to describe because you just sort of have to see it you have to come here yourself because the videos, whatever you're gonna see, it doesn't even do it justice. I mean, I, I think I might move if they can send my cat over. I could live here. When we got here, we um, went to the range. Obviously, when you travel with rifles, especially as long as we did, one of the things you want to do is you want to go to the range and confirm your zero, make sure everything's good. And altitude, a lot of times, has a lot of difference on guns as well. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're on where you think you're going to be on before you bring your um, firearm out into the field. And um, that way, you make an ethical shot at an animal. So when you get to New Zealand, it's a long trip. Once you get off that airplane, there's a lot of questions, and uh, thank goodness, you know, your guides are going to take you out to a range, and Glendine's got great ranges here, and they're going to let you confirm that zero, uh, and not only at 100 yards, like a lot of ranges do, but at 200 yards. And you're going to get that confidence on paper and know for sure that your rifle is going to hit where you aim it, and it's going to set you up for success for the rest of the week. I have only hunted like maybe a handful of times with Wade, uh, but this country, I wasn't going to miss out on it because I love hiking anyway. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to get a good workout up here. You know, this trip uh, is extra special for me because it's a 10 day trip together. And she's indicated she's going to go on several of the hunts. And as, as a guy that has a passion for something, when your partner in life decides that they want to go out and experience something with you, it's going to get you excited. I got up every day, I wanted to go, because this country is beautiful. I was like, I'm not gonna stay back, man. I'm not gonna miss this for a second. I'm gonna just soak it all in. <laughs> yeah, you don't leave your wife behind, I tell you that. You get home and you show them some photos and they're like, hang on, why don't you take me? It's not like going to Africa, it's not scary, it's easy and it's good fun. Um, even going out on the hill when you're not a hunter is, is so beautiful. 
If you'd like to fulfill your bucket list and book a hunt of your lifetime, please visit glendeanhunting.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Yamaha Wolverine X4 offers four times the proven off-road capability, four times the comfort, and four times the confidence to deliver four times the excitement on your next outdoor adventure. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. And by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're on the bank of Lake Hawea at Glen Dean Hunting and Fishing, New Zealand. You know, one of the things that jumped out to me right away was how friendly everybody was. So we arrived at Glen Dean Station, which is you know, basically what we call a ranch or a farm in, in the United States, you were met with open arms. I mean, from the lowest ranking member of the staff all the way to the owners, Richard and, and Sarah, uh, they made you feel at home. We're very fortunate. Um, Glendean is located between two beautiful lakes, Lake Hawea, which is behind me, is 1,200 feet deep. Um, Sarah's got an eco-tourism background. Um, I've got a farming background. Um, when you're growing up and young, I, I spent a bit of time in Oregon and I learned to appreciate um, the, the value of game. Also, we've all, always been passionate about our conservation values that we have on our property. I feel really sort of lucky because we're close to the town, but we're also completely isolated. So we don't have anyone around us um, to destroy our view or whatever. We get the peace and quiet and the tranquility. Um, and we can go down and enjoy the lake. Um, and it's just special, I suppose. Yeah, really special. Each day is a special day, yeah. Here at Glen Dean, you really become part of their family. Um, they come over every evening from their house uh, to have dinner with us. And it's, an, and it's a formal dinner, you know, everybody sits down. The food is phenomenal. I'm like, you're, you're at a resort. It's been fabulous. It's like five-star restaurant. I'm gonna to have to go back home and uh, do some things differently at our camp. So overall strategy-wise, uh, Danielle and Eric are gonna be heading up into the mountains on a tar hunt with their guide, Stacy. Where Dan, me, and Angel and Rusty, we're gonna uh, target a stag to start with. So it's kind of bittersweet to say bye to them as they headed to tar camp, but at the same time, we were pretty excited to get out in the field. So this week we're uh, going tar hunting in um, the Dobson Valley. It's a big private owned valley, so we're going up there for three days and two nights. It's about three hours drive, pretty signet drive, because we're going through, um, you know, quite bar barren, grassy hill country, and then we end up going up a beautiful valley, past glacier-fed lakes, and then there's just glaciers that you look at from the hut where you get to stay and big braided rivers and massive beech forests. So it's really beautiful. Um, we stay in um, like a cabin, a small cabin. It's pretty cozy and we all have a good laugh and a drink at the end of the day. Tar Camp was a very different experience and the land there, I just, I can't describe it. It was just up, 
up and more up. Um, and it was slippery because it was super wet out. We had a, a challenge ahead of us to, to harvest his animal and then also for my hunt as well. But I'll tell you, when you're hunting with Stacy, you just keep on trucking because she does not stop. Lights guy. We went up and did a lot of glassing on that first day. Got a little bit of an overview of the landscape. Saw some beautiful mountains that looked right out of Middle Earth with some glacial peaks where the glaciers were melting into uh, the local rivers and turning a beautiful teal blue that I can only imagine is something out of an artist's paintbrush. It looked almost fake. In fact, uh, people are probably going to question the authenticity of my photography when I go back and show people these lakes and streams and it's just an incredible color. There's a big bodied one, the fourth one down from the top. He's got a massive body on him, good coat. Unfortunately, uh, the nearest that even a decent bull tar was uh, to the muzzle of my rifle is about 400 and some yards. And for me, uh, I wasn't exactly comfortable trying to attempt a tar at that distance. So we decided to hold out. Ended up uh, going a little bit on a, a walkabout, looking for an opportunity to take one of those tar. That just never happened. We'll be right back with more from New Zealand and our tar hunt with Thompson Center's new compass rifle. Man versus nature, it's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who'll come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, has been brought to you by Cabela's, it's in your nature, Yamaha ATV, real world tough, and by Ten Point Crossbow Technologies, perfection lives here. The Thompson Center Compass was previously a Guns and Ammo Rifle of the Year award winner, uh, but I had yet to do anything uh, particularly epic. Uh, with that rifle and uh, to pair it with a 6.5 Creedmoor chambering, you know, and given the price point of that rifle, it allows people who are interested in rifle shooting uh, to have reasonable access to a very reliable and precision uh, instrument to go out hunting with in a very trendy or popular cartridge, if you will. So the Compass is our, what I would consider our entry level bolt action rifle, but it is one of those rifles that even though it's entry level, it is jam packed with features and benefits. Um, all of them come threaded with standard threading. It comes with a rotary magazine that fits five in the rotary mag. It has a three position safety, which is a huge benefit in, in all sorts of terrain all over the United States and in New Zealand as well. The weather here in New Zealand goes from uh, hot and sunny to freezing cold and sideways rains. <laughs> you know, it was, it was a challenge for me as a person, but for these guns, it was a challenge to see how they would hold up. And man, it looks brand new still. So it was a good choice for us to bring on this hunt. Well, it's the second day in Dobson Valley, New Zealand. Thompson Center's Danielle Sandville and the editor of Guns and Ammo magazine, Eric Poole, had a rough first day hunt in the valley. And today's weather conditions, well, they seem to be worse. The cloud was thick and couldn't see anything, but we thought, well, we've, we're only here for a short time. We've got to get out on the hill. So we went out, saw a big mob of nannies um, below us because we climbed really high again. We decided that we'd um, sit under a big tree where they'd obviously been sleeping. 
above a big scree slope. So we sat there for a couple of hours watching, just waiting to see if any bulls would come out. And then the heavens opened and it poured down with rain. Just trying to get everyone off the hill before it gets um, too slippery and dangerous. After five hours of waiting for the rain to pass, the sun finally came out and the clouds lifted. Danielle, Eric, and their guide, Stacy, were hiking all the way back up the mountain again. And then they spotted a group of tar. Fourth one from the bottom, along here, and his broadside. You got him? I can't confirm which one you're talking about. The fourth about. one from the bottom. Is his head obscured by a bush? No. He's the one in front of the bush, and three little nannies to the right. Got it. Shoot when you're ready. Good shot. He's down. Wait, wait, wait. Just be, wait, wait, wait. They can get up. Yes. Yeah, just wait. I can see him. He's down. Make your gun safe. Empty. We'll walk up. Safe. Never thought I'd like a tar this much. Made me work for it. Gave me good weather. I need a hug for that one. Awesome. You're an awesome guide. That was awesome. Thanks for keeping me in it. <laughs> TC Compass hammered it. Yeah. <laughs> Six five, one shot. 140 drop. 40 yards. Yep. Couldn't so ask for better. 140 yards. Yep. It didn't go anywhere. No, he didn't. <sighs> he dropped. That's what we like. And thank you for mm. for guiding well me on on one of the most yeah. memorable experiences I've ever had in camp. Now let's get to work. Let's get some back straps. All the work starts. <laughs> <laughs> If you're interested in hunting in the spectacular landscape of New Zealand, you can find out more information at glendeanhunting.com. Americana Outdoors will be right back. Incredibly compact, perfectly balanced, deadly accurate. Shooting 340 feet per second, the reverse draw Vortec RDX is performance engineered to take down big game. Horton by 10 point, adrenaline fueled. Purina's Quick Draw is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin has been brought to you by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy, Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras, proven, and by Conquest Sense, hunting and dog training sense. Well, it's the last day of the tar hunt in Dobson Valley before Danielle and Eric return to Glen Dean Station on Lake Hawea. Himalayan tar were introduced and established in New Zealand in 1904. Both male and female tar have horns with a range between 12 and 15 inches. The lifespan of a Himalayan tar typically ranges around 14 to 15 years, with females living longer than males. They choose to live in the rugged environment between 3,000 and 7,000 feet, testifying to the sheer agility and resilience of these animals, and it creates the ultimate hunting challenge. We're just about to head out. We're gonna to go to a different spot. We're gonna go up a big um, side river that's coming into the main Valley, and hopefully we'll find some big bulls in there. This is our last morning, so we've got to go and hit it hard. Mm -hmm. No so, pressure. Um, no pressure. <laughs> we haven't spotted any, but we're um, going to try and get some height. 
and um, hopefully some are going to pop out when the sun breaks through all this low cloud. See the bottom of his nose? Yep. Okay, just drop another two inches. Yep. Below his nose? Yep. Shoot him in the front? Yeah. Reload, reload, reload. Follow him. He hasn't come out by the rock yet. One last pass, just to make sure I don't see him. Okay, awesome. When you come on a hunt like this and you do something like tar, tar um, live out in some crazy terrain. And so you just need to make sure you're A, physically prepared be mentally prepared as well. If you want to have a successful hunt, you can't give up because the land is not forgiving. Um, so you just have to make sure that you just keep on trucking. So had an opportunity to take a shot at a bull. Stacy told me if you see the nose, aim a little low from the nose, um, took a shot and heard a thump, thought it was a really good shot. Um, they saw him run a little bit and so upon investigation, we tracked back to where um, he actually was and we were able to find a point of impact actually in the clay and dug some of the bullet fragments out. So um, no blood, no hair, and just some bullet fragments. So we're pretty confident that it was a missed shot on my part. So we are headed back down, bittersweet, it's a good thing that there isn't a wounded animal out there, um, but it was a hard trek up this mountain and it was a hopeful uh, hit for me. So we're gonna keep trying. Danielle, I have to say she's awesome. She's kept up with me. Not very many women that come and hunt has kept up with me. She's um, a real cool lady. She's hardcore and she's a true hunter. Danielle and Eric have made it back from the higher elevations of Dobson Valley and have met up with Angel just as the sheep at Glen Dean Station are being rounded up for shearing. So we're going to um, try shearing a sheep. These guys are so professional. I mean, if you watch these, these guys, they're fat. We're going to try it, but I think it might just be one quick swipe and then I'll probably get kicked in the face by the sheep or something, <laughs> knowing my luck. Uh-huh. And the aim is going to start here and go around. I don't want to get too close to his skin. You'll be fine. Okay. Hold on to this. That's hard. I, I, I was like, I don't want to get that close. No. Well, now we know. Yeah. If we need another day job, this is not going to be it. No. <laughs> Coming up next on Americana Outdoors, we'll join Wade, Angel, and Danielle as they hunt for red stag here in New Zealand. Now remember, you can always keep up with Americana Outdoors on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Americana Outdoors.
Americana Outdoors is a Careco TV production. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Protect it or lose it. 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 Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. Mummies is the leader when it comes to wildlife management products in Texas. With four store locations around San Antonio and the ability to deliver feed all across the state, from bulk deer feed deliveries to feeders and blinds, they have all your wildlife management needs covered. They are the largest Purina Antler Max dealer in the nation, so deer nutrition is their specialty. Call today to discuss your nutritional program. Visit them on the web for more information. When it comes to wildlife needs, Mummies is the leader. From out on the water, straight to the grill, and everywhere in between, Americana Outdoors has you covered. Our newly designed website features instructional videos, product reviews, and cooking recipes from some of the top contributors in the business. For even more Americana Outdoors content, sign up for the monthly e-magazine featuring the latest outdoor news and trending topics in the industry. Don't miss out on your chance to learn from the pros. Visit AmericanaOutdoors.com now. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action Today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. Mm -hmm. 